Okay, we are back. We have a heavy temporal storm approaching, if I remember correctly. I probably should have checked the video before starting this, but we do have a temporal storm coming in. And I got my armor ready to go. I just need spears. Now, did I have spears over here? No, I didn't, so I'm gonna have to make some more of those. Now what I want to do in this play session is uh, focus on getting steel up and running. That means getting the iron door uh, on the cementation furnace and then getting all that stuff going. We have plenty of black coal so I'm not worried about that. Just keep in mind I got this massive amount of black coal from the caves in the I believe it's north northeast got the black coal there and I have plenty of it for the rest of the game so for this temporal storm I'm just gonna continue working on the path because I really don't want to be defending at this point the only purpose of the temporal gears is just maybe fix one of the many uh, translocators I still have. I can still fix. I have plenty of metal parts for that. I just need the temporal gears, but I really don't want to be going specifically after those temporal gears anymore. I think we pretty much explored enough of the world, though I will explore the caves uh, around the path that I'm building. Still haven't done that. And how many spears do I have? Six. You know what? Good enough. Let's just get these spears. Oh, I also need to put away uh, these sticks here. I don't need that many sticks. Now, what do I have for food? Okay, I have this bush meat and I have this meal. Probably good enough. We still have stacks of torches, so I don't need to burn this on torches right now. Or, you know, maybe I'll get like one stack, just one more stack going. I need to get rid of this sand. And I will take this stone path with me. And, hmm. Could have sworn I had more stones, unless I uh, burned them all on the andesite cobblestone. And I did. I don't need any more. And I have a lantern here. You know what? I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to put it on the path somewhere. Now, I did finish uh, the entire workshop here. And I need to shovel this snow. Or, you know what? Maybe I'll keep the snow in here. Maybe I can get it to melt on its own somehow. And I don't think this lantern needs to be here either. So we'll bring it with us and we'll put it on the path. Oh, look at that. It's getting to be springtime. And these are still not growing. Well, it's zero degrees, so... Yeah, not growing. Oh yeah, I did install a whole bunch of troughs, additional troughs, just so I don't have to feed these guys as often. Now all that's left to do is... Well, I gotta find more, like, stones I could use for the stone paths. Suvrite stone. It's not a large enough quantity, so I'm probably gonna have to mine more stones. But anyway, the path is connected all the way to the double translocators. And wait, I didn't bring dirt with me. Oh well. I'm just gonna throw this sand over here. And I guess I'll eat this bush meat. Just so I can free up that inventory space. Well, I guess I'm keeping those two sticks with me. I'm not going back, but I do want to put the healing item here and my knife over here. It's only 22 durability. 
And probably something else. I guess a building material. Like, I forget. Do I have a place where I can put these full blocks of pathing? Or is that already done? Oh, well. It, it is March 6th. So, we only have one and a half months left in this playthrough. Now, keep in mind, I am going to be uh, releasing the map at the end of this playthrough. Also going to release the seed so you can generate your own world as well. You know what? I'm going to shovel this. So I'm basically going to do the same thing I did last time. Is just release the map and the seed. So you can generate your own world with seed that I played on. But you can also play around with the world I built here. And then after that, I'll be moving on to version 1.16 when that gets out of experimental. And after all the release candidates have been, I guess, released, I'm going to start a new playthrough on the stable version. And on top of that, I will be playing on permadeath because if you've read, read the patch notes, it does say that they will have the option for permadeath. There we go. Light this place up. So I think that'll be interesting. I mean, it's not too difficult to stay alive. You just have to not do anything stupid. So I guess that is a little bit hard. But, you know. I just have to play really safe. Like, don't do anything risky. Like, don't jump into a bunch of drifters when you're, like, half HP. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. I think the biggest threat would be the wolves, because they can pretty much just one-hit you. Especially in the early game when you have no armor. That's going to be a problem. Okay, so we got some dirt here. Every temporal storm is imminent. And do we have any stones in here? We have a bunch of clay. Little fertility soil here. And uh, no, we don't. So I'm gonna have to mine some more stones, but at the same time, I gotta watch out for wolves because sometimes they appear on this path and they take me like completely by surprise, so I don't like that. I'm just gonna cave this in just so I can get some easy dirt blocks. Don't wanna be digging for them if I can help it. And here we go. Heavy temporal storm. Alright, it's plus one now. At least it was for a little bit. Now I guess I can put the lantern like right here in this corner path. And I do want to fill this in. I guess I have to eat as well. I have to also move these roots. Oh shit. Don't want to get stuck during a temporal storm. Oh, probably should put my armor on. That would be a really good idea. There we go. So for a permadeath playthrough, I'm going to have to change my playstyle just a little bit. Like, obviously I'm going to have to get full armor instead of, like, the, the two out of three. Like, I can't skip the helmet in the next playthrough because I just absolutely need that protection. I'm just going to run away from you. I do have a little bit of pathing over there. Now, I wonder why this snow isn't melting. Like, it's the same thing in the workshop as well. Like, is it because there's a roof over it that is somehow preventing the snow from being affected? Oh, I need to clear this out as well. Can anyone else confirm that? Oh, Nightmare Drifter. 
Two nightmare drifters. Now ideally, I want to engage them one at a time. And actually hit them. Damn. Holy shit, I am sucking already. Wait. Well then. Well, I can't really mine that out because of all the drifters. Probably should get away from this. This is actually a pretty bad place to be engaging them. So let's just go down the path. You know what, let's go to the open area near the double translocators. I know that's a nice open area where we can fight in. I just have to stay off of the path corner over there because they can actually attack me from underneath and at times that did confuse me a little bit. Still snowy over here. I just have to wait for the snow to melt. Like Once it gets to plus one it should start melting. Wait, I think I have, like, stones in the chest over here. Gonna have to double check that, but pretty sure there is stones here. Well, I have spears here. You know what? Let's do something stupid. Let's go in here. Why am I doing this? Okay, what I want to do is, like, I still need to explore that area with the, the locusts. Like, I didn't go past there yet because I just had no way of actually uh, engaging those locusts at the time when I went there. Going into a cave during a temporal storm. This is a terrible idea, by the way. And I actually don't want to be going in this direction. And you just naturally spawn here. You're not part of the temporal storm. Now the only time I'm going to regret going down here is if I almost die. Or if I die. Because basically going down here is just a bad idea at this point. But that's okay. We're near the- Oh shh! <laughs> no, these are corrupt drifters. And locusts are down there. You know what? Let's get out of here. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Like, what am I thinking? Like, I don't want to be doing anything stupid. Here I am in this cave during a heavy temporal storm where it's like so hard to engage anything. And I'm hungry, so I need to go back and get some food anyway. Well, I guess it's okay. I mean, again, it's near the end of the playthrough. Like, why not take a few more risks? I mean, I am burning time off the clock anyway, so there's that. At the same time, I do need like more stones for the path. But where the hell am I going to get them? Like I could go to the quarry again and I can get a lot of stones there. But the thing is, when you're digging a quarry like that, you're mainly going after the rocks there, not the actual stones. The stones are just a byproduct of mining. I guess I can just like scour the gravel areas for boulders. It's probably I think it's probably the easiest way to get lots of rocks. If you're actually going for the rocks, not just for other resources. 
Well, I guess we could smash this up. Like, we do need to clear this anyway. Oh, f oh, fuck you. What are you? You're corrupt drifters. Okay, that's why you didn't do that much damage. Also because of my armor. Now I still need to like fill this in. In fact, I could probably fill it in right now. If I do... No. No. If, if I do this. Yes. If I do that, just fill this in right now. Not worry about it. Ah, damn it. There we go. Now, I do need to clear this out as well. Oh, fucking hell. Guess I'm not getting that root. Probably shouldn't take that much damage. I'm not very situationally aware at this point in time. I did burn through all of my uh, lanterns here. Put one over there and put one in the corner over there. Let's just go back, get some food. Now, I'm pretty sure I th I thought I had enough food for this trip, but I guess not. Oh, it's maybe because it's because of the armor as well. Oh, well, let's just go back. I think it, at this point in the game, the temporal storms just become a, a little bit annoying because I really don't feel like doing them. I just want to get other stuff done. I mean, you can always cheese it and just go to sleep. Like, sleep through the entire thing, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather just complain about it and do nothing about it, you know? And I'm hungry. Probably should have, uh, went back sooner. I probably should widen this. Because it's kind of hard during a temporal storm to walk straight, so you don't know if you're actually going to go off the edge or not. Yes, yes, I know, I'm hungry. Now, in order to complete the cementation furnace, I do need to make an iron door, which is like six plates, I believe, in the shape of a door. eat this. Alright. Now here the uh, drifters, they might be spawning inside my house, I don't know. I'll just put this here. I'm gonna check on my uh, cementation furnace here. Yeah, we got this nice thing over here. I still need to get another block of stairs here. Now, I need to put an iron door. Well, an iron door over here. And I think on the other side here, I think it's called a coke door or something. But basically, I need something. I need like two doors. Oh, that's a nightmare drifter. And oh, I'm out of spears. Gotta get those back. Whoa! That is another nightmare drifter. And this is ice. Alright, so let's go clear.
clear this up and then we're done. So we burned off a lot of time on that temporal storm there. Just need to clean up these guys and then we can get back to work on our steel making process. But I want to check something real quick. So we're at 20% stability. If I kill one of these guys... Oh, come on. Swing and a miss. Now we are at 56. Oh, that gave a lot of stability. We're at 91 now. So killing those Nightmare Drifters gives a lot of stability. Like I just didn't look at the actual numbers, like I already knew that killing them gives some stability, I just didn't know how much. Now I do, it's a lot for those Nightmare Drifters. Alright, it's back to work, let's get this cleared up first and then we'll work on the Oh, fuck you. Oh, you're just a surface drifter. Okay. I'm just gonna stand here and take the damage. Come on. Come on. Rah! Rah! Yeah. So, let's go cut these guys open as well. Right! I need a new knife! Well, it's snowing again. It's minus one. But that'll change in the coming days. So I had my extra... You're in my thing here. Stop being in my thing. Oh, damn it. Really? But you're a surface drifter. You spawned inside after the temporal storm. So they do spawn in here, but I have to figure out where. I probably should check this place during the nighttime just to see the dark spots. Oh, you know what? It's probably here. And I just drop off here and take a little bit of fall damage. I could probably use like one of those lanterns here. Rusty gear. Yeah, use one of these lanterns here and then oh fuck you. You got three hits on me. Wait, rift activity is medium. I'll just finish cleaning these guys up and then we'll work on that door. All you give is flax. Wait, there's... Oh, there's actually three lanterns here. Excuse me. So, we'll just pick these up. And what I'm gonna do... We'll leave that lantern there for now. And what I want to do is, like, have a lantern... Like... Right up here. Or maybe... Wait... Maybe put it on the other side. I'm trying to build here, damn it. Yeah, we'll put it here. So all of the uh, coal will go here, those two blocks. And then we'll have the door like right here. And that prevents any coal from falling out. And then the iron door like right there. You know what, probably sh should get some coal here. I guess we can use a charcoal, but nah, let's use a coal. Should also organize this stuff. Oh, probably should like get rid of this stuff as well. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Let's put the coal here. Now we're gonna get another stack of coal. 
I'll get rid of the dirt blocks here. Oh, get this. Oh yeah, I have five more candles. Probably should have used that. And just in case, I'll just take this with me. So we got flax in here. Stone paths go here. And stones in here. Okay, now I have room for my armor. And then we're going to put the armor away. Now I did put down some torches in the tin bronze cave. Like I can go back there, but first I want to get the uh, stuff going. Uh, stuff, and by stuff I mean the steel making process. I was looking for black coal. Yeah, we have lots of black coal in here. That means I'm gonna hammer these things out. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, I actually have iron ingots already. Well, you know what? Let's do another round of... Or, I guess we don't have iron blooms anymore. We'll have to get them from in here. So, we have plenty of iron blooms now. I guess we can get a few more going. Do three of these for now. And do we have enough? Yeah, for one more. Alright, so let's put these down now. But, hmm. Oh, it's because I'm picking them up. Like, I was thinking it automatically switched to this when I wanted it to. That was weird, but okay. Yeah, we'll just do four of these. I probably should light up a fire here just so I can warm up. Let's put two coal here just so I can get my temp back up. At this point. Just put all of these in here. I think I have like one partially worked iron bloom. Or not. Could have sworn I did, 